use a browser to access the NIFSI FTP site. Save, use the saved bookmark. Once you're at the NIFSI FTP server, access incident specific data. Select the region of the incident you're looking for, in this case, California North. Select the year that you're looking for, in this case, 2015 federal incidents. Select the incident you're searching for, in this case, California Six Rivers, the Mad River Complex. Select GIS. Select Products. Select the date for the map that you need to work with. In this case, August 20th, 2015. Choose the map that meets your intended mission. In this case, the ops map. Once the op map loads, tap the map and bring up the open end choice. Choose open in Avenza PDF, copy to PDF maps. Now that the map is cached on the device, there's no longer any need for internet connectivity. I've created an incident folder with the name of the fire and I'll now access the op map that I previously cached. If I want to measure an estimate without walking on the ground, I use the wrench, bring up the measure tool. In this case, I'm going to choose area and you want to center your cursor on the area to begin. In this case, I'm going to measure this uh, proposed dozer line. Hit the plus and move the cursor every time you need to make a change in direction. Hit plus, plus again. Plus. When I get to the uh, terminal point, I choose save. Now I can take the line. The line will be in my list of lines. Find the, that line. Can name the line. I can choose the color of the line. At this point, I can export the line via email to whoever needs to see it. In this case, Team 5 GIS. Hit send. If I need to mark a waypoint or some other feature such as a spot fire or any other feature I want to mark on the map, I can use the drop pin feature. In this case, I'll indicate a spot fire here just outside of Division D, G. Choose the pin on the lower left. If you would like, you can annotate it. In this case, I did spot for 15, 30 hours. You can choose a different icon. In this case, I'll just choose some pre-identified uh, ICS symbology. I'll use the isolated heat. And at this point, if I want to export that pin, I can choose my export command and in this case I'm going to email it and I'm going to email this to Team 5 GIS and hit send
marking a GPS track. To begin with, use your phone or iPad, open up Avinza, and choose the triangle in the lower left corner to locate yourself on the map. In this case, for the purposes of this demonstration, you notice that it indicates not on map. If I were on this map, my position would be indicated by a blue dot in the center of the map. Similar to measure, I bring up my tool choices and choose record GPS track. I choose start in the lower left corner and I just walk, drive, or move along my desired course until I reach the uh, desired endpoint and then I choose stop. That track can be exported just as the lines and pins can be exported using the export feature.